Welcome back guys. Today is a very special episode because we have a shot at some white sea bass. It would be my first. I've never caught a white sea bass before but on this trip we got a bunch of people from the Hook to Cook family. There's 10 of us on this boat. A lot of familiar faces. We're gonna start by jigging up some fresh squid. We have some squid alive in the bait tank. We also have some fresh dead squid and we got frozen squid and we got a bunch of lures. So or not lures, but soft plastics that we're gonna throw at them. Hopefully we can get something to bite and we'll show you guys what they bit on. And uh, just stay tuned, it's gonna be a fun episode. Sit back, relax, enjoy, and wish us luck. All right guys, so behind me, that is Keith. And he's got 17 years of experience on this boat. And right now he's got a squid jig on. It says that the, about 30 feet down there's some squid and then 100 feet down too. So what's going on there, bud? Trying to get some square. Success? Mm, I don't know. Not yet. I think this time, yes. Don't let it go slack. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at this. Whoa. Stunned him. Got a stunner. Oh. oh, Keith, He's pulling squid. It's like every hook. Oh, it's going a lot faster. It's raining. It's raining squid. It's raining squid. Go, 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 go. There you go. Got fire kind of black all over my face. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh, I need to get better at that. <laughs> Couple more. All right. I heard of some fish being caught here at the potato entrance there, so I'm going to look right in that zone. So uh, If I see something, I'll uh, sort of go run and let you guys get the position there. Uh, this starboard side drifts. Oh, look at Bob. Jackpot. Once he gets the hang of it, we, we're done. Wait. Jackpot. We're seeing like single marks, guys. Island Bob just saw something when I saw him. And, uh, from us. Just like Captain John just said over the radio, the white sea bass were just moving, moving away from us. We spent a lot of the morning just fishing different spots, fishing about 15 to 30 minutes, one spot. He'll keep on metering and then seeing if we can find those white sea bass. It took quite a while, well, not yet. but no, not yet. the barracuda showed up. Oh, Bob on a barracuda. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Feisty. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, bring him in. Oh, oh nice. I tried. Nice bounce. Nice, Bob. As much as I'm tempted to cast the Kalisa for Barracuda, I'd rather do what you're doing and what Jacob's doing <laughs> and have some fresh dead squid just on the bottom. Y'all are all fickle. <laughs> At this point, I switched to a white 7 inch fluke style bait with a darter head, and that's been getting the white sea bass that are closer to the surface. And then this happens. Oh, oh, he. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> Dang, that barracuda hammered it. Not what I wanted, but. Gosh, now my fluke's gonna be all shredded. Henry on a barracuda. Nice. Not the targeted species. No. But look at Henry. So the legal limit for barracuda is 10. Is it? You can keep 10 of those. All right, number two. This is barracuda fest over here. I don't know, man. Oh. oh. <laughs> nice. That is a nice. Dugan bait. Cut the end off. 
just so it's flat for your jig head. All right, so I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but this bait is shredded by those barracuda. You can feel them swallow it and you just lay into them. But the problem is they're fraying up the line too. So retying is a must, but yeah, it's a really nice head. It's got this kind of darter style, super stout hook. Put it in like that, come through. Now you slide that bait forward like so. That's why I cut it. Remember I cut that tip? So now you figure out where it's gonna exit. It's right there. And that's what it looks like. A lot of movement in the water. Right there. Yeah. Nice. There it is. This is the Gugan Squad 7 inch fluke style bait in like the white ice. It's doing work right now, guys. Doing work. This just became a Shop Carl's sponsored video. <laughs> God, I thought that would have been that, that, that almost felt like a white sea bass. It was big. <laughs> Last minute heroics right here, guys. We've been doing Barracuda, one halibut, like keeper, and uh, we've just been swinging for the fences. We told Captain John that this is what we want to do. We want to give our best shot for some white sea bass, and he's given it to us. Uh, they're just not as cooperative, let's just say that. But we did mark some, the other, uh, the other fleet is here, so they must be seeing stuff too. So we're gonna give her a, a go with some squid. So we continued to meet her around and Captain John found some really good marks on his sounder and he told us all to drop. Let him go, guys. And I literally just told Bob I might regret <laughs> using this light setup if I hook up. The current was so manageable, I was only using a four ounce weight to get to the bottom. So the light rod made a lot of sense. This setup had 40 pound mainline braid to 40 pound fluorocarbon top shot to a three way swivel to four feet to the sinker and two feet of leader to a squid what? with a five aught Aki hook. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to regret it if I catch a fish or something on that little I just dropped it. You can hear it in Keith, the deckhand's voice, that choosing the little rod was a bad idea. You didn't bring your big rod out, he says. In hindsight, I should have been a lot more vocal, started walking a lot sooner, and telling all the guys that I'm coming down. Yep. Oh, no, 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 It pops no, off. No. And Keith says, and now you can get your real rod out. Could have been a shark. Uh, no. It it clean. Forty pound test. Bit it clean. He said, "Go get your real rod now." Lost a big one. But it bit clean. Pay close attention to this, guys. When the bite is hot, you really want to capitalize. Here's something that I did to make sure I don't take too much time to retie. You'll notice I have these two green pool noodles and they're full of pre-tied leaders. Just in case I break off, I don't have to tie a brand new hook. I don't have to pull leader line. I can just pull it off of the pool noodle and put it right back on my rig. That way, if I break off, it does not take long to retie. So I was able to put a new weight and a brand new squid on. And you'll notice before I put the squid down, 
I stun it on the rail. So it loses its color and it still has a little bit of movement. I need redemption. <laughs> and right after I said that, Henry hooks up to a white sea bass. No. Fish on for Henry? Oh, oh, oh. Nice job. Get it, Henry, get it. This is what we were waiting for right here. Henry fought that fish for a long time. Our and ultimately, the sea lion got him. Sea lion got me? Yeah. We ended up resetting our drift, so I took it as an opportunity to retie and adjust my weight line and my leader line to better fit the drift and current. I made my leader line about two feet long. As we pull up to the spot, we notice all the other boats are hooking up big time, so our hearts were definitely pounding. The bite was really opening up. After a long day of searching for them, we're finally on them, two and on, then we start on. hooking up. Albert gets one on. Albert, let's go. But then he shortly loses it. Oh, no. God. After that heartbreak, I knew we were still getting hooked up, so I did everything I could to just keep my weight on the bottom. Got him. Got him. Got him. Go, 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 under, under, under. Go, go, go. Finally hooked up, guys. As I make my way through the starboard right, side, Bob ends up hooking up. It's complete pandemonium. There's three guys hooked up on this one rail. Step over here, sir. As this was all happening, our buddy Rob Leip was on the other side of the boat, landing his fish, the jackpot winner. Get him, Jim. Get him aboard. All right, keep on walking towards each other. Go up. Let me to your right. All right. Let him go on that side. Got it. Hook the pole. Oh, come on. All right. Come this way, sir. Come on. Oh, we're together, we're together. My fish right there. Oh, no. oh yeah. All right, stick this one again, Keith. Woo! Oh, it happened. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you guys. Thank you, John. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> yeah. Instead of pulling the hook out of the fish's mouth, I just decided to cut off because that'll be faster. And then while I'm retying, Bob brings in his fish. Baby. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, buddy. Nice one, Bob. After this, the bike did stay on for a little bit longer. Mario hooked up. Yeah, Mario's on. Nice. Nice, Mario. Which way is he going? Another passenger hooked up and brought his in, but Mario was unable Go to bring his under, in. Under, under, under. Good job, Mario. Come on, gotta stay on. We gotta stick this sucker. We just gotta stick. Oh, left, left. Come on. All right. Oh, I'm right, coming your way good. too. Oh, shoot, Ed. That one. No, 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 no. All right, I'm away from everybody else. Mario's hooked up, and uh, so is Jim. There you go. I just got out of there. I was like, I need to get out of here. Oh, oh Mario just popped off. What happened? Everything came. Even the weight came off. Oh, dang. Yuck. That's sad. A huge shout out to Been There Combat. Provided this 
axis rod. <laughs> it's definitely a nice pairing with the big American flag Avid that Bob and Leroy and Mario, the boys, they pitched in for my birthday last year and uh, we're breaking it in on some white sea bass and then next month Joe and I are going for tuna. Right Joe? Yes sir. We're doing our last stop of the day. One more last minute heroics please 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 but that's freaking awesome. We got a nice little flurry there where they just turned on. Sea bass are like that. You'll mark them but no guarantee they're gonna bite but it was nice that they cooperated. <laughs> third time's the charm. This is my third trip out. Skunks both times. Hooks up, hooked up a couple times. Now I hooked up on that one earlier and then lost it, but then got redemption. So, Whew. it's a good to get that monkey off off my back. Day after, time to fillet our fish. 23 pounds, close to that. Bob's was 25. Uh, Bob always getting the bigger ones. <laughs> Just luck. Do you want white sea bass sashimi. You know what? Just set it like literally on um, here. Yeah. Is it fire? We're gonna look like. Oh yeah. You know, I'm Leroy was right. Dude, all these things eat is squid, man. Do you want this? Oh. Do you, want a you are what you eat, so these oh. things should taste that's really good. like really good. That's, is it clean? Oh wow! wow. It, that's, okay. that's, that's what that was. Ash, clean, that, that is was excellent, bro. Yeah. You didn't even put, even anything put anything on that. I didn't put anything on that, and that was by itself is good. It's like buttery. Yeah, it is. Buttery? I'm still getting like a buttery Butter. sauce. Oh. Are we going to Soy sauce? Soy sauce on it or anything? That one's soy sauce. That one's... Wasabi. Wasabi. Mm. What do you think? I like it. You like it? Oh, straight. I know you. You want yeah, to try it? London doesn't like soy sauce. Take a piece. Uh-huh. Like it? Take that time. What are you telling him? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Your dad's going to catch some of these uh, next month. Oh. Wow! Oh. No pressure. Hater. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's almost done. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna pull it off in a second. Wrap mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad. 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 For sure. Guaranteed. If Bob's coming, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Get more ads? We get it done, Bob. <laughs> I know, right? You're gonna get some next week too, buddy. White sea bass. I know. We right? get some more. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you guys on the They're next extra. one.